<laughs> well, um, I decided that I had had enough slavs in this tournament. <laughs> Uh, so, well, uh, well, this is not the most usual line, but it's quite playable, I guess. Uh, well, uh, he has a lot of options. Here, but what he does is the main line. Thirty-one. Yeah, bishop d seven. And um, uh, well, this was played in. In he went he took against two polar in nine ring and then he took here which is absolutely harmless. Well after bishop d three well I'm not an expert on this line <laughs> at all. But I think the point is that after bishop d seven he cannot go b six and bishop d seven so then I return with the bishop. Well something like that. <laughs> um well anyway, the position is quite there is, there is quite some life in the position at least, which is what I like Anybody to sit down, okay. Rook C8. I thought uh, this move was considered dubious. I, I have no idea why. I think what I played... Uh, knight E5 is, well, the most critical. But now... Uh, he should take, I think. And, uh, and now bishop e6. Well, bishop e6 is what most people play here, but then queen h5, g6, queen h6 basically wins. So, bishop d6 and takes bishop c6 or something like that then. Because the rook is feeling a bit uncomfortable, he uh, has some compensation. I think this is uh, what he should do. Well, he, what he played wasn't too bad either. Uh, bishop f6 and uh, bishop f4. Well, he may take on d4, but then bishop h7, king h7, queen d4, he will always be a bit worse. So it's very understandable that he didn't want that. So he played g6. Um, he should probably have played bishop e6 first. And then I don't think quite has anything particular. Uh, so, okay, g6. Now queen b3. Uh, well, this is a bit annoying for him. And he also spent uh, quite a lot of time around here trying to find the best plan. Okay, knight a5, it's probably the best, because knight takes d4, queen takes b7, uh, just seems to lose a pawn to me. Mm. Well, I might be wrong about that, but <laughs> uh, it looks good for white to me. Okay, knight a5, queen uh, b4, well, I thought... Uh, he played bishop b6. I thought he, w he was going to play bishop b7, in fact. And then queen d2, knight c6. And now he's threatening bishop b4. So I might have to take on c6. And uh, I still have a slight edge, but it's not much. Maybe bishop h6 and queen f4 is interesting. I don't know. But it's not very much for white anyway. Okay, what he played was decent enough. Uh, bishop e6. Um, yeah. Uh, bishop h6. Uh, bishop 
G7 surprised me slightly because then even if my attack doesn't succeed, uh, I will always have a slight positional advantage. Uh, you should you should perhaps take on rook e8. Uh, I will probably have to do queen d2 then uh, with some initiative at least. Okay, yeah. this takes. Basically, I, I he intends to play queen b6, and then after my queen moves, knight c6, which uh, should more or less equalize. So I have to do something fairly quickly. So h4. I don't know if it's a good move, but uh, I thought it would be the most challenging for him. And now after queen b6, queen d2, knight c6, I'm not exactly sure what I was going, going to do. Uh, I think maybe take some, and then some h5. Hmm. Well, it's not, it's certainly not completely clear. Maybe you should, you should have played queen b6. Because I think he let the knight stay here a bit too long. So h5. Um, I don't know, he should probably take it. Rook e3, and then h4. Okay, still white has, has a pretty nice initiative, but, um, uh, but at least he has a pawn to suffer for, <laughs> even if it's doubled. So he went f6. Well, now I had a pleasant choice. Uh, bishop b5 was quite interesting, with the idea of rook e7 and knight e3, which looks very strong to me because the knight is coming to either c5 or, or f4. Or, um, but okay, I was not so sure about knight c6 takes takes, then something like knight d3, and uh, thought, I thought I could expect a bit more from my position than this, uh, even though it's probably good for white. Okay, knight f3, just decided to keep attention. Now, now I think it's not advisable for him to take here, because knight h4 is coming. And then, uh, I don't see anything better than knight c6, and take, and uh, I thought what was better, for example, rook c7, and then queen b5, takes, Queen a4, the queen is coming to the king's side, uh, which looks very good for us. All these pieces are very loose. So. But I think uh, maybe this was, maybe you should have done something like this. Maybe play queen d7 after I take on b7, then I have to take it for bishop b5 with a better ending, but maybe some growing chances. Okay, b6. Well, now he decided to bring the knight into the game. It's maybe too late already. Bishop b5. Well, after knight c6, basically I just win the a7 pawn with what should be a technically winning position. So rook e7, rook e2, uh, 
Mm. Yeah, maybe you should have played knight c6 here. I actually intended to take them. And rook e1. And, uh, well, I. Sooner or later, I thought <laughs> Pin must decide the game. I probably don't have anything concrete, but I have some plans like knight h4 and pushing the f pawn. Or queen d2, then h6 and queen f4. And uh, it's hard for him to untangle because once he goes quick, king f7, then queen d2 comes and uh, h6 is open. And may maybe this was a better chance still. Well, he went. Rook c7, rook e1, uh, king f7. Well, I, I, I thought <laughs> I must be uh, winning basically by force now. I, I, I didn't see exactly how, but um, uh, this is what I expected bishop f5, then queen h6, king g8. Uh, I guess knight h4 should win pretty easily here. Because g6 is collapsing. And as far as I can see, he has no counterplay, especially because c1 is protected by the queen. Well, anyway, what he played was certainly no better. Queen f8. Queen f4, bishop f5, g4. And now, after bishop e4, I will just go knight g5, king g8, knight e6, simply winning an exchange. Uh, with his knight still being stranded on a5. Um, well, bishop, so he played bishop c8. Well, I had quite an amusing way to win the exchange here, actually. Bishop e8. And then queen e8. Um, and queen c7. Uh, but it's not especially good. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Maybe your computers will suggest some more direct way of winning here. What I did was uh, quite simple, I think. Yes, and bishop c6. And uh, yeah, he resigned because d5 is collapsing, and uh, and it's not so <laughs> easy to find movement. If he takes, I take, take. Uh, Takes, 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 king e7, and then queen h6. Or I could insert a check on g5 and take on h7. Both are winning these movements. He was also he also had one minute left on me here, so it's not surpri surprising that he resigned. 